Hi, thanks for watching. I've previously covered scales in first position and then the basics of playing scales in different positions in second, third, fourth and even fifth position and so on. Uh, these are practicing scales uh, fixed in a single position, say second position, and then playing across the violin. But now I want to, in I want to introduce the, the idea of shifting uh, while playing scales and a good way to do this is by practicing scales on one string. Uh, now you won't find this particularly easy to do and it shows up all the little problems to do with intonation, particularly when you are moving uh, from one position to another. But you've also got the problem of the different um, gaps between your fingers as you move up and down uh, the fingerboard. Uh, so well worth practicing to develop uh, good intonation and the ability uh, to move up and down uh, the string. Uh, so um, the usual shifts, starting with your open string, uh, would be into third and fifth position, uh, or from second uh, to fourth position, and those will cover uh, basically all the the lower positions, one, two, three, four, and five. So we can do an open string scale, say on the A string, and we're going to shift into third position and then into fifth position. So here we go. Uh, so open string, A, then B with the first finger, then C sharp, do your major scale, C sharp with the second finger, and now there's a shift up to D, and your first finger will now go where that third finger would have normally gone. So the next note, found D, now there's E. Now I'm going to shift into fifth position, so I'm going to go on to F sharp. F sharp, G sharp, A. And if we manage to maintain the tuning, that A, with your third finger now in fifth position, should be the same as the harmonic, so you can just, just check that that is correct. Now come down again. Moving back down the violin is not as easy as going up, both difficult, but coming down is hard because you haven't really got a, a reference, such a, um, a, an accurate reference point to do that. Uh, so uh, usually, uh, not always, but usually you should aim for uh, moving when you're shifting position from your second finger to your first finger going up. Second, first finger, and then coming down the other way from first finger to second finger. First finger, second finger. Not always, uh, but that's a good habit to get into because you will eventually do it, be able to do it automatically. So that covers first and fifth position. Now, if uh, you can start uh, your scale on um, any any uh, note, we could do B, uh, B major etc moving up and down the fingerboard uh, but just um, to cover second and fourth positions if you start with your first finger on C on the A string uh, then do the same uh, idea of shifting from second finger to first finger second finger to first finger you'll be moving from second into fourth and sixth position if you go all the way up. So here's C, just putting my first finger on C, D, shift to E, semitone, F, shift, G, A, B, C, oh right, right up the top of the violin there. Um, so you're now in uh, the uh, heavenly uh, heights of uh, sixth position. 
So again, starting on C, C, second finger shift. Now I've got the second finger shift again. And then coming down again and so on. Uh, so um, that's the idea. You can practice that on all four strings. Uh, practice the shift separately uh, so that you're confident about getting those right before you actually uh, move any further. So all the shifts should be practiced separately. Don't focus on what note you're playing in particular, whether it's a, an F or an F sharp or a G or a G flat or, 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 or whatever, but just try and focus on where you are in the scale and get to know the um, tones and semitones pattern. Um, and then finally, when you're confident with the tuning, don't forget what's happening with the bow. So once you've got the tuning right, you can think about nice smooth bowing to produce an even tone. Uh, that's just some ideas for more practice. I uh, hope they help. I uh, hope you enjoy your practice and good luck.